How's it going everybody? Thank you for watching this video and just a quick note if you guys are subscribed or if you guys haven't subscribed yet make sure to subscribe and when you do click this little bell here on my channel and get all notifications sent to you from my channel that way you guys can be updated with all of my channel updates and uploads and whatever else I do on here. Thanks for watching. How's it going guys and welcome back to the source code my name is Deshaun and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install and in, in, how to install and set up IntelliJ for Bucket. Now, I know a lot of you guys are going to leave the comments, going to go into the Discord and be like, Oh my god, you're finally using IntelliJ. So, I will tell you the reason why I'm starting to use IntelliJ. So, while Eclipse is very good for people who are starting to learn, and Eclipse does pretty much everything that you need it to for Bucket, and I've used it for a very long time, um, I've actually had issues lately of uh, Eclipse being very slow, uh, and, e and IntelliJ not being as slow. It's still a little bit slow, but not as slow. Also, when coding in IntelliJ, uh, you can code much quicker, and there's, um, you know, the autofill is much faster. Um, so that is why I have been using IntelliJ. I've been using IntelliJ to code uh, the source code API and my mini game for our upcoming server, which will be officially announced very soon. So here we go, and let's go ahead and do this. So if you are in college, or if your school has a .edu email address assigned to you, you can actually get the uh, student edition, which is basically the professional edition of all of the JetBrains products. So you can actually have IntelliJ Ultimate, which is pretty awesome. If not, you can just go ahead to you know to the regular uh, IntelliJ. Uh, and just download the community edition. I'm not quite sure what you can and can't do. Okay, here we go. Now uh, this is what you can and can't do. Um, so yeah. So I have the student edition, so I can go ahead and do ultimate. Um, so there's that. Uh, continue. I already have this downloaded. So I'm actually going to reinstall because I don't have the newest version installed yet. I have 2017.1 and 2017.4 is out. So I can actually show you guys how to do this. So just go ahead and click next. Um, we're going to uninstall this one. Um, I already have an old version installed, so I want to uninstall silently because I want to keep all my config settings. So I have a couple key maps and a custom theme on, so I want to keep that. Okay, so it's going to choose your location. We'll just go ahead and click next. Yep, that looks good. That looks good. And I don't know if you saw there, but I clicked 64 bit. If you have a 32 bit machine, go ahead and click 32 bit. If you have 64, click 64. To be honest, I think it's pretty rare to have a 32 bit machine these days. Um, if you do, um, I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry for you. So we'll go ahead and let this install. But for now, I'm actually going to go get some breakfast and wait for this to install. Okay, so now that you have it installed, just go ahead and click Run IntelliJ IDEA. Okay, so you guys will most likely get greeted with this screen uh, when you launch. Well, after you do your initial setup, it's going to ask you a bunch of things. So just go ahead and click Next all the way through there. You don't have to do anything special. Um, so just go ahead and create a new project. And we want Java. And this should be good here. Let me just make sure. Yeah, so this is good here. So go ahead and click Next. Go ahead and click Next. Now you can go ahead and create your own template which wouldn't be a terrible idea for bucket if you're making a lot of plugins um, so then our project name uh, we don't want it under source code we want it under we'll just put it under da, 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 java projects IntelliJ and as you can see there I got a bunch of <laughs> I got a bunch of the test projects there that was when I was first trying to figure out IntelliJ a while ago okay so we'll put it under here and we will name it forward slash uh, tutorial videos. And what's great about this is now I can have these separate projects. So I can go ahead and click uh, finish. We actually want to go back. We don't want Java. We want empty project. We want empty project. That's what we want. And then we go ahead and say tutorial videos. Yep. So we'll go ahead and create that. And now what we can do is we'll wait for this to load. All right, so now it's meeting us with a project structure. So we'll go ahead and skip this for now. So we'll just press OK because we can't do anything quite yet with it. And now your view might be should be in project view when you first launch. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and say new. 
module we're gonna we want project SDK so now the reason why you want project SDK 1.8 is because um, there are certain things that will come up as errors or not correct if you use um, you know Java and I believe we might have trouble launching it with uh, spigot as well so we're gonna go ahead and create this one is first IntelliJ so we'll go ahead and click finish and now we have our first project so the short key inside of here is you can do con control alt shift s and it'll open up project structure that's probably one of the best ways to do it so what we want to do next is you should already have this inside of here and we're going to be inside modules here just in case you're not and you want to go ahead and click the plus sign here add jars or directories and now we want to add our latest bucket jar which I have mine right here and we're gonna go ahead and click OK and you what I do is if you guys haven't noticed is uh, in my Dropbox here I just have inside my Java projects folder I just have the latest jar here and this is what I link all of my plugins to so that way if I change this latest jar into a new latest jar it'll automatically update for all of my plugins so we'll just go ahead and click apply there and next thing we want to do is we want to click artifacts and now this is where I noticed a lot of people had troubles and at first I kind of did too and then after I sort of looked at it a little bit more it's actually really simple here so we just want to go ahead and click add jar from module with dependencies and since we only have one thing in here we're gonna choose first IntelliJ or whatever you named yours click OK and that's pretty much it so this is the change your output of where you want it to land so we're just gonna go ahead and change this to tutorial dot plugins so what we'll do is we'll go right into here which is our tutorial plugins folder and now we can go ahead and click apply click OK and now we are all set to set up our first package here so we just want to go ahead and do me dot TSC coding dot tutorial and now we can go ahead and create our first class and we will say tutorial main and what we can do now is we can go ahead and create our, our new file and we'll call this plugin.yml and we'll go ahead and say name tutorial IntelliJ description we don't really need to put anything version 1.0 in main which is me dot tsc coding dot tutorial dot tutorial tutorial main and I think we got everything that we need inside of there so we can go ahead and click X out of that and let's go ahead and say extends Java plugin and let's just do public void on enable and then let's go ahead and say uh, bucket dot git server dot git Oop, not connection throttle dot git console sender dot send message check color dot green and we'll say IntelliJ likes us. So, also let me explain why I'm, I made this video. So I'm also making this video because I'm going to be making the rest of these videos inside of IntelliJ um, because mostly because of the fact that my Eclipse is poopy and it's not really working, um, which is weird because it's been working for a while. But so that's why we're gonna do it there so let's go ahead and now I have set up a new key map for building so you can't just do like uh, you know file export it doesn't work like that so what you have to do is you have to go ahead and up here go to build artifacts and then this screen should pop up but I have mine set to uh, control tilde so I can just go ahead and do that and go ahead and export and now let's launch Minecraft here okay so you can see there IntelliJ likes us and obviously we can join our server here there's not gonna be anything on there so uh, we can go ahead and just do slash PL slash PL and you can see tutorial dot IntelliJ has loaded 
So, uh, obviously, there's not going to be any code on GitHub for this, but I would like to thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, we have been growing exponentially. We are at uh, over 500 subscribers now, almost 600. So, if you guys enjoy this video, be sure to leave a comment, drop a like, and subscribe. Also, be sure to be on the lookout for my next video and my video talking about the new server that's coming. As you guys can already see, you guys have probably already had a sneak peek of a couple things. Uh, the name of it is going to be Sourcecade. Um, I know we're really creative here. Um, that's the best name I could come up with. I kind of like it. It's, it's growing on me. Um, but yeah, so that's all I got for you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.